Under the streets of Sondrio, in a stone-lined cellar, we met with a selection of wine producers in Valtellina. Each person we spoke with welcomed us, pouring their wine and sharing their unique stories of this valley, high in the Alps of northern Italy. Often it was the winemaker behind the table pouring, or someone in the family that owned the winery. They told us about harvest, their family history, and their passion for wine. Hello, Hello. welcome in Valtellina. Finding these wines exported is not the easiest. Several producers, including De Rupi, Arpepe, and Tenuta Scierse, can be found in the U.S., and I encourage you to seek them out and taste them. But honestly, this is a region that should be experienced. Get there if you can. But until then, we will be posting Cellerator Views and Small Shorts to introduce you to the area. We had time to speak with many different producers. Join us as we hear the stories and the passion behind the wines of Altalina. Davidi Fasolini's energy is palpable. Tall with ginger hair, a beard, and glasses that seem held up by the ends of his smile, you can feel his energy, excitement, and passion as he waits to tell you about his wines. He and his partner, Pierpaolo De Franco, were childhood friends who met again as they finished university with degrees in enology. Valtellina Superiore, the first one, 400, 450 meters, a lot of different vineyards, five. And uh, this one are 10 different uh, vineyards between 450 to 600 meters. In this altitude, we have beautiful and perfect maturation in skin and in seeds too. And we have the possibility to make this longer maceration longer enough for take up the tannins from the seeds. The tannins is our natural antioxidant. If I want to preserve the freshness in this wine, I have to take off these tannins. In the same time, so, um, never too much longer for don't less the freshness. Because you know that after 10 days, you have the maximum freshness as possible. And uh, every day that pass, you love a little bit. The tannins arrive and you have to try to uh, so it's the right moment yes. because uh, I think that the ID card, once of the ID card of Valtellina is the freshness. I want to bring this freshness uh, inside in the wine and give you the possibility to taste the freshness because uh, you have to feel the health when you taste the wine of Valtellina. <laughs> One year in uh, French oak, big cask of 2000-2008. Here in a wine shop you can buy for uh, between 15 to 20, 20, 25, uh, 35, 50, 60. So this is called Gromella. Yep. Okay, and th this one is a grumello, but mm -hmm. don't sell the grumello. Because for me, it's, it's important to give you this information. Valtellina Superior at DOCG, grumello area, but where in grumello? Because grumello runs from 300 to 600 meters. Okay. This one is a grumello around 500 meters. Yeah. In this area that is named Jess, it's a historical name, Vigna Jess, that is an area that is uh, in the west point of Romello, where there's a lot of granite in the soil. Okay, another Grumello. This one is Dossi Salati, uh, 2018 too, but in Grumello area too, okay, but we are 200 meters uh, in, uh, in distance, but 50 meters more higher. 550 meters uh, above sea level. Is in, the, in, a, in one area that our ancient call Dossi Salati. The translation of Dossi Salati is salty dumps. Okay? Salty dumps. And uh, this one is a single vineyard that uh, stay in a single um, uh, cask of uh, 2,100 liters. It's bright. It's bright and light um, compared to this one, which is a more spice and a yeah. little savory. And this is just, it's so different. Yeah. So different and from it's that. Grumello. It's from Grumello. the same hand. Yes. <laughs> from the same area. Just from the same mind. Yeah. But to completely expression of the territory. Yes. 
Wow. Yeah, this one is our preferred song. <laughs> yes, incredible. When when you have all the all the uh, when we when we are in harvest in this moment, now we have only two tank. But uh, in one month we will have twenty different tank with twenty different uh, vineyards, and, and uh, it's incredible because you taste every single vineyard. And you arrived to this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, I think that uh, I love this vineyard because uh, with uh, we, we are very proud to have the possibility to work these vineyards because this vineyard give us <coughs> the identity of Valtellina, this freshness, drinkability, and elegance. But in the same time, we have these tannins that is rounded. And uh, when we taste these vineyards, this wine with 10, 15 years in age, it's incredible because these tannins take care about the freshness and bring this freshness for a lot of years. The, the tannins, I mean, I can feel them. They come up after. Like you get all that freshness and then and you get the tannins, but they're yeah. very... They're like smooth suede. I feel them that you know they're there, but they're they're very nice. Thank you. Nice one. And this last one. This yeah. is your spot. This one is another word, is Nebbiolo, is Valtellina, but with drying process is a sforzato. Is a for us is a single vineyard too. It's a vineyard that is named Chioso. It's the hardest vineyard that we have. This is because we want the powerful from drying process on one side, but in the other side we want the drinkability. And where we found drinkability in either species, freshness, acidity that put together powerful and acidity and freshness for this sforzato with the, we, we hope to make this sforzato with a lot of drinkability with inside it a little bit of the the uh, uh, freshness and uh, in the same time the, uh, the, uh, the uh, identity of what to mean. You have to feel the house in this wine too. These are the stories of the wines from Valtellina. Join us on Discovering Wine Country for more stories of Vini Valtellina.